and welcome to another episode of Grievance News on this wonderful December 6th of 2015. Not too many days left out of the year, and I'm still down here in semi-sunny Florida, even though it's getting a little bit colder, like, you know, 60 degrees. I'm having to put on some pants with my with my flip-flops. So, <laughs> with me tonight, I've got Zosian in the upper right-hand corner. Hello, everybody. Below me, I've got Deuce. Pants are overrated. I know, I know. We all know about you and your pants. <laughs> <laughs> then in the other corner, there, is Trocian. Hello, everybody. It's first time. Yes, a oh first time. You know, he, he, first, first time first victim, game. I mean guest. So, <laughs> well, this is gonna, we got a lot of stuff to go over, so we'll go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, oh, yeah, and welcome to everybody in the chat room. You're with us right there in the middle, if you can see. Anyway, uh, Arcage. Not much is going on in Arcage this week. Uh, the, Catilla, mm -hmm. the guild is just continuing to farm and PvP. So, still having fun. But still, I think a little bit of a lull between content. EverQuest 2. Uh, they have downed the Charred Mind Warper, which they go ahead, went ahead and sent me a pick. Which is right there, Charred the Mind Warper. Now this is something called their uh, second new name, which is I think probably part of their uh, Thumbria update, possibly. So I'm just kind of going by it based off what they sent me. All right, now uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, new patch is coming up in a couple of weeks, which is going to bring a new relic we weapon. <laughs> That's better. That's better. Right screen. Right screen. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy. It's got a new patch coming in a couple weeks. It's going to bring a new rep relic weapon. Epic. <laughs> you guys did that, didn't you? <laughs> I would never sabotage you like that. <laughs> Epic relic weapon quest line. Uh, lots of people have been looking forward to this since the uh, release of the expansion. More side quests uh, like the Hildebrand are also coming. Uh, raid groups continue to work through the Savage Raid content. Uh, Savage is a uh, uh, rating of the difficulty and not the name. Uh, basically go normal, hard, slash heroic mode, and then savage mode. So it's basically like nightmare mode, if anybody remembers nightmare mode. Uh, the There is a new event. I know, Sky. I, yeah, I can't say that three times fast. Uh, there's a, a new epic... Uh, or a new event coming on the 19th at 7 central time. Grievance is having... The, or Grievance Final Fantasy Guild is having a new trivia contest. <laughs> The prizes are to be determined, but they sent also put up a nice couple of picks. The Grievance Gaving presents Final Fantasy XIV Grievance members. What do they know? Do they know anything? Let's find <laughs> out! No. And, and they've got this nice little, uh, uh, what's that game with a spinny wheel and the revealing words? You know what I'm talking about? Wheel of... Fortune. fortune! Thank you! Thank you! Wheel of Fortune! <laughs> so, they sent me that nice little pick image. I but, don't know what it is. Let's see, I think we need a... An, let's see, I think we need some vowels. Yeah, you you would have heard the beep, 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 beep. Only vowels left. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're going to continue on to Neverwinter with a deuce. Neverwinter, as always, it's been going strong. Um, recruiting has actually been really great in the last couple of weeks there. Lots of new members coming in. And the guild itself and all of Grievance like to you know, welcome the new members to Grievance. Um, I want to congratulate Kalist as they join the Officer Corps as the new raid leader. He's been doing a great job with a few other officers of organizing their groups that they're doing these dragon runs in their stronghold. They've been doing really good. Um on getting three of four down on a consistent basis. And they try for, you know, four couple times, but just have been unsuccessful. They um, do their runs on Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday night at 9.30 p.m. CST. And if there are members on at other times, they're wanting to do the runs, they'll make runs for testing and for the Dragon Fang. 
Um, the new content under Dark has been going very well since it's released a couple weeks ago. Lots of members have been running the events to achieve the new boons and weapons. They are really trying to screw me up right now. <laughs> they continue to rank up the buildings in the stronghold zones and are finally able to buy the new gear at the marketplace now that it's rank 4. Tiger Course does a wonderful job on Friday nights running with her stream of, and has actually got a couple of dragon runs on her stream. Remember, never is free to play and download. So please, <laughs> <laughs> go check it out. Come hey, on, dude. You didn't get me. Almost. You're, you were you well almost done. there. Yes. I will well say done. that. Well done. Um, in case anybody in the stream or in the chat room doesn't know what's going on, is uh, we've been... We've been playing around with our notes, apparently, and they got me the first time around. We were trying to get some deuce back. Uh, let's see if we can mess them up later, later, guys. You probably will. Wait till the names come up. You'll get me there. <laughs> All right. Uh, Skyforge. Uh, there's some disappointing news. Uh, Skyforge has been officially demoted to Embassy. Skyforge doesn't support smaller guilds, and there's not very many people in Grievance that are still playing it. So, but this is a uh, is a game that was in. Uh, this is still alpha status or beta status. They never came out of beta status. They, okay. They went live beta. Uh, you know, it's a, they call it a soft release. So yeah. All right. So we'll we'll see what happens when they go live. Um, but for now, I think it's it's kind of stuck where it is right now. Star Citizen. Uh, they just released the Alpha 2.0 trailer, uh, showing actual footage of what folks can do in-game on the public test universe. Uh, this is Alpha still, and thus incomplete and glitched and everything, but uh, Grievous members have braved the journey to fly missions around the verse. Thame has been flying around uh, in his two-seat Hornet doing some zero-G zero space Space excursions and missions, <laughs> and uh, using his jetpack to fly back to his ship. Uh, he joined up with Ansler to board his ship and uh, leaving behind his own. And he actually got in. They actually got into a fight, and he played turret gunner. Uh, as they say, it was a good day to die. <laughs> day. It's a good day to die. Now, on to the, uh, some some long stuff. Zo, tell us about Star Wars. Oh my goodness, Star Wars. Oh my goodness. They last week was we got great big announcements from stuff. So, okay, let's start off. Whew. Okay, I'm I'm okay, I'm ready. Okay, things have settled down quite a quite a bit in Imperial Guild. They have worn the trying off the Knights of the Fallen Order expansion, but they're still having a blast. Republic scum must die! Because you, Republic scum, you must die. Okay. <laughs> Pavitin, shut up! Brilliant! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks are doing the holidays, and their numbers have been a bit sporadic, but are still we're still kicking. Um, they are still filling their their raids on schedule nights and are continuing to space the hard modes and story modes operations out to accommodate everyone in the guild. Um, new members getting new gear and getting themselves prepared for a higher end game. And uh, they also had a big announcement on the uncoming content and so. This is huge. Subscriber rewards. Something we've been wanting for a while. Uh, and what they announced is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Okay. Uh, chapter 10, Anarchy in Paradise, will be launched on the 11th. Along with Chapter 10 will be the game update 4.1, which will include fighting the Eternal Champion, Bodar, as an unlockable companion through Alliance. And updates to crafting, we ha we will have more details on those changes in January. Um, uh, 
we will have a whole host of new subscriber awards for at least as well. Uh, being a subscriber on January 11th and you receive an HK55 as a playable companion when 4.1 launches. Uh, sorry guys, spoiler warning. He's one of your companions in the first part, but something happens to him. I won't say it anymore. But you get him back if you're a subscriber. Yes! I love his meat counting. One, two, three. Is that like, oh, he, is that like the count? count? Yes, he counts every kill he gets. One, One dead. Uh, uh, One uh, dead. Uh, two, Five meat bags uh, uh, dead. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, being a subscriber continuously from January 11th through the launch of Chapter 16, which is in August, and receive an entire bonus chapter and... Nothing has this has never been before in this game or any other game of Star Wars. You get to play an HK unit, specifically HK55, a bonus mission just because you're a subscriber. So, uh, you may want to get your subscriptions restarted at least by January 11th if you want to be uh, a droid. Okay, um, be a subscriber. I yeah, Cortana, shut up. Sorry, but Cortana tried to go crazy there for a moment. Uh, be a subscriber on the first of each month and receive two days early access to any chapter which launches the month. With This includes chapter 10 in February. Um, there will also be additional monthly subscriber rewards through season one, which will be themed around HK55. Don't forget to do your ha ha very funny <laughs> ha ha playing around with the notes again, I guess. Okay. Uh, though the through the month of December, we will have plenty of things going on. We have several uh, special events happening. The Gree Rocco event. Um, uh, the Bounty Contracts event will be coming back. Uh, log in anytime between 12.8 and 1.5 to receive your fourth anniversary rewards, including an HK51 Stronghold decoration. More information lately. Later this week, we will also be running daytime, and I see you adding more stuff in there. Oh yeah, you gotta have the j pajama party on December. Yes, 18th. yes, <laughs> pajama party. Okay, uh, the event, uh, the Gree event, will be December eighth through December fifteenth. Uh, the relic of the Gree, which cool, decent armor. It was one of the first events that they came out with, and uh, December eighth to January fifth, log in for the fourth anniversary rewards. Uh, December 15th to the 22nd, the Rocco Plague event will be coming back, which they have recently updated um, this event. So it's totally different from what it, it has been. So it's actually pretty decent to do right now. Uh, to celebrate Christmas, they they do the Life Day event. December 15th to the January 5th, does anyone remember the, uh, the movie, Christmas movie? Which That's one? where this life Which day one? There's only like 50 million Christmas movies. The Star Wars Christmas movie. <laughs> that only oh, aired gosh. one time. And has never aired again. But you can find it on YouTube if y'all want to go really go look up. If you want to see a lot of wikis and wiki languages and stuff. Um, but the Life Day event. Um, um, like I said, 15th to the, for December 18th to January 1st. Double XP event. To be honest, I'm not for sure why they're doing this. I'm because very updated the everything up where it would be good. You ex you're leveling like crazy. I don't think we really need double XP, but that could be. I don't know about you, but I got a bounty hunter that I had to get up to level fifty, so. 
Double well, XP will help me. I don't know about you guys. Do they still well, offer the 12 times XP pre-50? No. Uh, they stopped doing that, but they actually have fixed it if you do story and also... Is the story and also the story quests of the planet. That's all you have to do, and you literally out level the planet in no time. And plus, they also level sync you to to the all planet. All I know is I have an imperial agent named Bond. Mm, well, you need to I get on and start playing. <laughs> Just well, for the name alone, come. I gotta get it back in the rotation. Well, there you go. Come, come play on the imperial side and come join us. Okay. Um, for the life day this year, we'll have a few changes to the awards. All previous available awards, including some items previously only available on the Cartel Market, are available for purchase with snow cover parcels. <laughs> for, the, for the Masters of Ceremonies of the Faction Fleet. Additionally, we'll have a new Cartel Market item honor the life day. One of there might be a tank that shoots snowballs. That'd be fun, though. Seriously, a, 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 a snowball tank. Fire the snowball! Pretty much. <laughs> okay. Uh, Conquest is... Uh, that's... Uh, uh, Conquest will be changing the, the go along with the events. Um, during, uh, what, Relics of the Greed, um, Rockles, Death Mark, and the Balance of Power. So, that's going to give our guild something interesting, change of pace of, on the Conquest front, so that's good. Uh, in December, don't forget to, uh, everyone to subscribe for subscriber rewards. You can become eligible for it in January as well. Uh, that's about it. They can't wait until the new chapters come out next year. Yes, I want to get my one of my agent's companions back. Did let me get her back. Hurry, hurry up, Bioware. Okay. Oh. Okay. And do this awesome storyline, then jump into an Imperial or public channels and team speak to get started. You won't be dis disappointed. Yeah. Come Imperials, um, Republic's okay, me, but Dark Side Wars. <laughs> nice. Or die. So yeah, a lot of so definitely a lot of stuff coming from Star Wars. <laughs> so keep just <laughs> if, if if you're gonna play Star Wars, now's the time to do it. Um, I think there's a new movie coming out soon too. You know, like like really? nine days. No, yeah. no, no, no. That can't be it. That can't be it. Don't know what well, you're talking about. Yeah. For some reason, I Probably hear wrong. a rumor. They may do something special for it, but it's just a rumor. I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. It'd be cool, but... I think it's a fake rumor. I think it's just an internet, internet, internet fad. Yeah. Anyway, Deuce, Wildstar, what's going on? Well, you know, I'm there, so enough said. I was just kidding. Um... We're continuing, you know, go nice, slow, and steady. We're still building, trying to get up to a nice core of people. We currently have about 10 people core right now. Um, first rate is 20 people, so what we do is we're pretty much running, you know, guild groups and stuff. Hugging every once in a while to get people caught up in levels and getting their gear ready for veteran dungeons. We do run um, group nights on Wednesdays and Friday nights. During this time, you know, we try to get at least in one veteran dungeon course with me being a baddie as I am. And yes, I'm a baddie in this game. Um, many times we do not succeed. But we did stream a veteran on Thursday, which is our stream night. And we actually completed it without too much embarrassment. So, a hey, good job, team, for at least while we were streaming, doing a good job on it. Um, outside of that, check us out. We are free to download, free to play. Go team! <laughs> Alright. Vanquish, you need to work harder. You only have 10 people. Come on, Vanquish, work harder. <laughs> but isn't Deuce the guild leader? But yeah, Vanquish is the recruiting officer. Yes, but, you know, Deuce is the one in charge. Just saying. <laughs> Which I don't think, I don't remember hearing about. So this is news to me. So. Trosian. Read the forums. <laughs> Alright, everybody, and, and I'm Vanquish's name. Basically says that 
that right next to his name is Recruiting Officer Wild, uh, Wildstar. I don't know. So anyway, what's going on in Wild, Trussian? Ladies and gentlemen, I am here to talk to you about the world of Warcraft. So what is going on is that, first of all, on the Grievance uh, forums, we did just get the new For the Alliance newsletter that has been posted onto the forums, made by our fabulous guy, with a brilliant BlizzCon write-up by yours truly. So <laughs> definitely take a gander at it. Because let me tell you, one thing that I learned about BlizzCon is that it's awesome. Uh, the raid team has been working really well together. Uh, they're downing heroic content now, working on a few more bosses. Um, but the best thing is that they are regularly taking on Archimonde without <laughs> any hiccups now. They've been uh, taking him down. <laughs> they, they've been able to kill him um, pretty much on their first, on their first or second pull regularly which is yielding better loot for the team as well as legendary ring upgrades for everybody so it's just making it that much easier every week so things are going good there progress is being made folks have been getting their uh, moose mounts um, which is given by uh, de defeating Archimonde on heroic so some people are working on uh, some groups together to get the Moose Mounts, and hopefully we can get there to get the entire guild runs together um, to get everybody their Moose Mounts because, hey, Mooses are cool, and they fly, so pff, you gotta get some said, things! I think it said Moose Horde Mounts, not Moose Mounts. <laughs> For the Horde. <laughs> um, folks have been working on getting Valor, which allows items to be upgraded. Uh, it's a new feature that's been adding to the game just to sort of milk the current contest content as best as they can. But you know what? It's something, right? Something to do, so we'll take it. Um, a big thank you to Soulquake, who has stepped into the role of Tank um, for the Alliance <laughs> when we were <laughs> down one. I see what you're all doing now. <laughs> but he's been doing a really good job at keeping the raid group together. I actually was the main tank and walked away for for a decent amount of time, but I have made my triumphant return, and I'm going to be kicking some butt. So, Soulquake, you're out of there. I'm back in. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die. I bet. I bet Soul Quake is quaking in his boots right now. <laughs> um, but just wanted to let everybody know that we are still recruiting, so please feel free to reach out to any of us, and we'd love to meet any new family members that do join the Grievance Well Alliance team. And last but not least, again, we just want to wish everybody a very happy and safe holiday season this year. Um, on to Wow Horde. Star Wars rules. <laughs> the Horde has finally fully cleared the last raid of Warlords of Draenor, so they finally got that Archimon kill that they've been working on. So everybody, in all sincerity, I just want to give them a big congratulations because that is a big moment. That's a big win for the entire team because uh, they've been working really hard on that one. So great job. Uh, that's great. So now, now all that there is left is to do it again. Just Keep getting them down and get that better loot. <laughs> uh, next up, WoW Horde will be putting uh, the normal raid on farm as they nibble their way through the heroic version. Um, and activity in the guild is still high, and now is a great time to pick up WoW again to meet some more wonderful people. Get ready for the new expansion, Legion, which is on its way. And... You know, we're, we're having a great time. There's a lot of content to be done. And if you want to just have some fun, we are a crazy bunch. So you you just get right on in there and join the fun. <laughs> nice. Awesome. And delivered with such energy, Trosin. It's just, that's probably why they had me come on here. Because I am so charismatic. Well, thank you. Uh, well, that completes our gaming news. At the, well, at least the primary our primary uh, guild games right now. We're gonna switch over to some organizational news. Uh, Teamspeak maintenance is coming. Uh, there's gonna be an update uh, in a brief period of downtime on December 8th, which is in about 
two days, which is Tuesday, and it's going to be between 1500 UTC and 2000 UTC. And if somebody can tell me what that is in, in Grievance Central Standard Time, that'd be great. I was just going to think the same thing. What time is UTC? Yeah, um, I should have Let me it. look at it on my phone. Hmm. Okay, we need a UTC to Central Grievance Central Standard Time conversion, please. Give me a um, second. I'm looking it up. But uh, Teams is going to be down uh, for a little bit. Uh, it should come back up uh, with no problems. You'll be able to reconnect. Uh, the state of grievance address is slated for January 23rd at 2016. Wow. January 23rd, 2016. And it'll okay, probably it. be at our 7, 7 o'clock central grievance time. Uh, the next council meeting is going to be December 13th, which is next Sunday at 7 central time. Now, who put in Ventrilo servers? <laughs> <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> All right. So. What... Okay, I got the conversion for you if you want to know. All right. Uh, from Central Standard Time, uh, UTC is six hours ahead of Central Standard Time. So, say, for example, 1.31 a.m. right now is 7.31 Central Time. So. All right, so f so that's going to be, what, 11, 11 a.m. Central Time to 14, so 2. So around 11 to, no, 20 minus 6, that's... I'm doing my math wrong here. Oh, well, that's nine a.m. That's nine a.m. Central to uh, two a.m. or two p.m. Central grievance time. So I'll be at work, so it won't affect me. Yeah, most people will probably be at work. So, and yes, uh, the count state of grievance address on the twenty third of January, that is also known as Team Speak Stress Stress Night. <laughs> All right. To continue on, uh, they're writing something in Teamspeak. We will break the server. Actually, it honestly, says we will do break the server. But you know, I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna comment on anybody's inability to spell. Uh, we were contacted uh, last week by Davillion to stream their new open beta, which Deuce and Vanquish did on Friday night. So, Deuce, what was going on with Davillion? How'd Friday night go? Well, you know, they were giving out some bling and stuff, and they actually contacted us because Scapes, their community manager, well, he was their community manager back from our age. You know, we had a good um, relationship with him back then. And so he got promoted, and he's like all over all media now for Tryon. And so he contacted us via GTGN and said, hey, we got this new game launching, open beta this weekend. You know, can you stream for us? And, you know, we like to keep up our, you know, good relationships with the company. So Bank was like, sure. So me and him, you know, sat down for like about a two-hour stream. And we started from scratch and everything. The game itself has a very Diablo feel to it. It's fighting is almost identical to Diablo, just different skills and stuff. Um, the stuff that's different in the game, which gives it an MMO feel, we actually didn't get to. They have guild systems within it. They have guild-only content in it. And so as you progress farther down the road, you start doing stuff that isn't in, like, Path of Exile or in um, Diablo and stuff. So that's where they're hoping to differentiate from them. They actually have in-game content where the others are just, you know, gear grinds. All right, awesome. Well, thank you, thank you. Um, did anybody stream stream it any else this weekend, or was it just you guys Friday night? As far as I know, it's just us. Okay. Well, I think the villain their open beta ends tonight, so I think you have a couple hours left if you want to try getting into their open beta. Um, Chorosian is giving showing his social security card for some reason. <laughs> just in case you want to wipe down the. Hotel remote. Ah, <laughs> okay. Do it. He's got to get out the wet wipes. Don't know what why. What have you been doing with the remote? Now? Yeah, I wasn't going to ask, but, you know, we're just going to ignore that thought. Uh, Swords, Swords Drawn Guns Loaded went up last night. Uh, it hasn't shown up 
Uh, apparently, uh, uh, it hasn't been listed yet, but the link's right there if anybody wants to watch it. It's in the chat room. Uh, Thames live stream his live stream was choppy, and he had some, he was having uh, spotty internet connection issues all day. But uh, folks who didn't get to enjoy it last night can still watch a flawless adventure on YouTube. Apparently, it was a pretty good video. Uh, he offered up some spider beat, uh, spider speeder bike chases on Endor, and went all 15 rounds solo in survival mode against stormtroopers uh, and AT. I think it was supposed to be ATSTs. And in the end. Uh, Took on the role of Boba Fett and even had the chance to tempt death uh, by the Sarlacc with him. Uh, I've got a video which I'll show towards the end, and we'll see him uh, tempting the Sarlacc. All right. Boba's doing to the Sarlacc. Where did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to watch. Okay. <sighs> okay, so on to <clears throat> organizational promotions. My favorite part. I know. <laughs> See, Deuce has pointed out that apparently last time we had him on, we were doing names as well. So <laughs> we're probably doing names all all month because we were so far behind. Yep. Well, la last uh, last episode was October promotions. This episode is November promotions that we are doing in December. Just as long as you got that straight, these are November promotions. Oh, they survived to another November. Yep. Zo November, November. Remember, remember the fifth of November. Zo, one year members at least halfway through, <clears throat> at least the first page anyway. What's going on with the one year members? Who's 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 promoted? Dante, Inara, Animal Mother, Arc Arcadius, Lit. BGG Ginger Coach Mike 63 Dante Delic De uh, Dr. Dollar Doyle X Cow Fusion Arc Kazden Grandi Hera One Hot Streak Hera Hi I say Haru There we go Impact, Iron Wizard, June Dix, Car Carge, Kepta, King, Enormous, Erroneous, Erroneous, okay, Lastra, Lask, Leffen, Live the Day, Mark Harrow, Meh. Okay. Mino Tux. Okay. Your turn now, Juicy. Okay. So, unlike him, I will throw this screen right there. If I butcher your name, I'm really sorry. Make sure you come yes, to the team speak and that. make sure you come into the team speak and say, Deuce, my name is actually blank. Okay. <laughs> so that way, at least I get to learn your name and I get to talk with everybody that way. But here goes my set. Bugosh, Omni, Overlord Aaron, Pacalarius, Pacwiz, Pim, Rygar, Seabass the Mighty, Sindora, Sonic, Squirrel, Tenebrea, um, Tingo, Shinoshi, Ulraf, Veldegress, Wiccan, Zanny, two of your members, Alki, Bastin, BSB, also known as Big Scary Bear, Bug, Sieg, Shesher, Dark Rye, um, Azurga, Epic Pants, Gliss. <laughs> What's so funny about Epic Pants? <laughs> Epic Pants is a real name? No. Mendo, did you put that in there? Yes. Hey, my pants got promoted to a two-year member. Yes. <laughs> okay, so they finally got me. Only because it's names and I can't no, screen these. No, I, I got you once also. <laughs> Bliss, Greybeard, Grizzly. I'm just trying to be quiet about it. Xeron, uh -huh. Jacek, Joshua Lackhand. I think that pretty much does not All right, and I got... Kazafin, 
Carnegie, Kithas, Kolik, Kako Marquise, Mary, MM Oldtimer, <laughs> Red Shuart, Rickshaw, Rock, Shadern, Shimra, Solantis Fu, Spligatseer, Zorn, <laughs> Tacos, Feed, T, V Dash. Now on to three year members. Essie, Hexacles, Laura <laughs> Raven, and four year members Drevin, Hevain, Ikrex, Kiomi, Masis, Murdoch, Oak, Rezreal, Questy, and that's the it. That's it for my name. All right, to continue on the four years, uh, finishing off the streak, V Saber and Ixius, Ixius, something like that. <laughs> and yes, I will put your names on, and I apologize, it's just the way it is. Five year members Hans and Holly Bryn. Six year members Amber and Kroll. And our eight year member Estovia. A congratulations. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Still more than me. Congratulations to all our promotions. Good job and welcome to the next year of your grievance life. That makes sense. Probably doesn't. But we're good. All right. Now I have a couple of videos I want to show, but we'll go ahead and wait until uh, anybody has anything they want to say. So does anybody want to say anything? Oh, yeah. I got lots of stuff to talk about. <laughs> okay, Deuce, what's the deuce? Okay, so, you know, here's the thing. A nice eyeball, Buck. <laughs> um, you know, here's the thing, and it seems like there's been a, some dry times for new games coming out lately. And I'll tell you, there's a couple games on in the near future that look really promising. And, you know, a lot of people have been, you know, getting into. But I just want to bring them up real quick. One of them being Black Desert. And um, a real good person, if you want to know about Black Desert, is um, go up and talk to Lord Scythe up in Neverwinter. He's got a lot of knowledge on that game there. Um, another one is um, Saga of Leucemia. And we actually have a couple of their devs that are Grievance members. So if you go to Saga of Leucemia on the forums, you'll actually get to talk. You ask any question one right there, the devs will actually answer you in our teams. I mean, in our... Um, Forums, forums and stuff. So that's always a wonderful thing when you got dev participation within the forums or in, and in our community. The other thing is, and this one's kind of close and dear to my heart, and that's Pantheon. Um, I will be starting pre-alpha in Pantheon probably early January. I won't be able to stream anything or anything because of the NDA. If you want to know stuff about general about the game stuff, come talk to me. You know, I got no problem telling you what I know. I just can't officially post anything. So, no no screenshots, no anything. We haven't even signed our NDA yet, though, so I can talk about it all I want right now. But once the NDA comes out, i got to follow it strictly because I'm not losing my position in free alpha. But the last two games I noted, they are trying to go retro with their game styles. Um... While I don't know much about Saga, I can talk a lot about Pantheon. Pantheon, best way to explain it is, take original EverQuest, take Vanguard, mate them, and Pantheon is their demon spawn. <laughs> much. Wow. So, you know, McQuaid's running VR right now, who is the producer of this game. They have a crew that's from EverQuest, EverQuest 2, um, Vanguard, pretty much any game. Actually, they don't have anybody from WoW. Is this what, um, so is Pantheon what EverQuest next should be? Well, you know, EverQuest next is, is bad taste in my mouth right now. and I really don't like talking bad about games. But, you know, in my opinion, it, it could have been the next step in the EverQuest chain. But because, you know, Sony and then now Daybreak, you know, they're going their path and... Quaid and crew are going their path, and they're doing what they want to do and what they think should be, because you know he was part of the original EverQuest crew stuff, and he does own Vanguard, 
So he's trying to take the mistakes out of what they did in Vanguard, you know, take the best things out of both games and make something truly, you know, epic and bring back the old fill of games. And stuff. All right. Well, so at least that's uh, a few games, at least, at least three games we got coming out. It looks like we've got the uh, dev from Saga of Sim- Lucimia in the, in the uh, chat room right now. And then, uh, now Black Desert is the, I don't want to say it's like Arc Age, but it's set in that genre, right? The piratey, the pirate uh, genre-ish? Yeah, I didn't even realize the Saga's guys were in our stream right now. <laughs> really, I'm really glad I mentioned them now. No, I would have thrown them a bone anyway if they weren't here. Actually, thank you for coming in and watching our news and stuff, guys. Definitely. Um... But uh, the Black Desert was the the pirate esque themed game, right? Like the com- I, arcade competition. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't know much about it. I know okay. it's a PvP centric game, and like I said, scythe up and never winner. Tell you anything and everything you want to know. All right, awesome. Now, can you tell me what Saga of Simia is? Because I'm. Well, I mean. Eldoran can better explain it. And like I said, they've answered a lot of questions on the thing. It's kind of funny because they have the same time frame as Pantheon. And they're going a little different paths on certain things. Like, their world has no magic to start with, from the way I understand. And through Axe, you know, they progress. You know, they have the 100% no magic. So there's actually no healers in the beginning. The healers, they heal by bandages and potions. Oh, okay. And and then, you know, as they progress to the next act, then they start having a little bit of magic through items, which I believe they call relic items. And then once they get into the third act, then it's pretty much, you know, a click and heal kind of game and stuff. But, you know, to me, it's it's different, you know, but it, it still has the old time feel. I did see some yeah. of their footage, and it was still raw footage and stuff, but I give these guys props because... You know, this isn't their day job. They actually are funding it themselves. These are a bunch of friends that met each other, I believe, in T99 and stuff, and decided, hey, we want to make a game, and they do it on their own time and don't don't take pay for it or anything. They're just trying to release what they feel is the best game in the game they've always wanted to do. So that's off to them. Yeah, definitely, especially if this is, if this is something or a project they're doing on the side. Yes, by all means. That's great. <laughs> All right, thank you, Deuce, and thank you for all the everybody, and thank you, uh, Elder. Uh, uh, I guess in the chat room. I'm excited about a game too. I just yes. trying to be nice and quiet. Well, I haven't gotten there yet. As you guys are coming up, <laughs> but since he said something, okay. what do you want to talk about, Zoe? Uh, I guess, I guess. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, since we're mentioning games, I I would definitely would have to say the game I'm completely looking forward to. Is massive the new Mass Effect game sometime in 2016? Yeah, because rumors they there's rumors going around it's going to be even bigger than Dragon Age Inquisition, and oh, I'm like, oh my goodness, I I liked everything about Mass Effect one, two, and three. Well, it's up to the end, but uh, everyone has that issue. Uh, but uh, I can't wait since they're taking it to a brand new galaxy. So I'm ex- very excited about what's coming up for it. So we'll see how it goes and see if I'm going to be right or not. Or I just hope the rumors are true and I'm just ready to get started in it. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Trosian, anything you want to talk about or any games? Don't get too in-depth into 2016 because that's we still got one more episode left. So Let's see. No. Nah. Okay. Games stink She's right fine. now. I gotta, I gotta play Fallout Four still. But <laughs> whenever I got time, all I care about is I just gotta get back home in time for Star Wars. That's all I want. Once I see it, I'll figure out what I want to do after that. Probably I'm sorry. Play. Why are you rubbing this? Because you don't have anything there. I'm sorry. You, you had to have the beard, or at least, a, at least, uh, Rendell has a goatee. At least he has a goatee. Yes, he is the I'm stroking my invisible beard. He, mm, yes. <laughs> he, is, he is the hairless one. 
We always have a heroes one. How do we do that? Alright. Well, a no. razor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, I got a couple of videos to show before the end of the night. Uh, guys, if you want to watch the videos, please just make sure to turn down your mics so we don't get a whole lot of feedback, alright? The first one I want to show is going to be uh, Thamen on his... Come on. Why did Chrome decide to fail me? There we go. Chrome. <laughs> What's going on? Did you crash it? Uh oh. There Trump. we go. It's not that good. That's why. Firefox. I think I know what's going on, and it's not good. All right. Firefox. Okay. Now this is Thamen over the Sarlacc pit. Now here's a funny one. Shall I go try to get this gem? Uh oh, almost. Yeah, I know. Boba Fett. There we go. <laughs> and this is from Star Wars Battlefront. If you Fett, the didn't see the Star giant Lacks sign up top. So. Good job to Thaman taking on the Sarlacc Pit. And then we've got the Alpha for Star Citizen uh, trailer. The trailer for the Star Citizen Alpha 2.0. It looks kind of neat. just jump off the ship in the space? Yeah, there is zero G, um, whatever. Wow. Yep, he jumped off the ship. I have to say, this trailer was really nice. Now that that um, I, mean, it, I just find the the uh, Star Citizen just fascinating. I mean, great graphics. I just I am just suck at uh, piloting. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I, I that that third that third dimension just uh, I'm horrible at it. It I, looks a lot like Mass Effect in some ways. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Think somebody's stuck on Mass Effect, <laughs> <laughs> but it does. I was just thinking, the whole other that is totally different. Those... <laughs> <laughs> it, 
and now for something completely different. Except not. Uh, and then this is the Star Wars... The Star Wars... Um... Knights of the Fallen Empire trailer. There we go. Yeah, the accolades trailer. Destiny does not choose between good and evil. It does not honor the light. It does not judge the darkness. It simply rewards those who are willing to fight for it. Drop the shield and let me through. I can handle this. The galaxy we knew is gone. With you. All right, now I just got linked a quote unquote super important trailer, and I'm almost afraid to, 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 to put this in here. It's safe, I didn't send the link. You'll be fine. It's what did you do? It's World of Warcraft base, and it's very important. Okay, is they going to get window fired and kicked out of agreement? You may find a creature. Hey, with I'll say the best video on YouTube ever was WoW based, and that was internet the most powerful. <laughs> and I still laugh at that video. Of heroes could ever hope to tame it. No matter the dangers you face in your brave adventures, Bright Paul will stay by your side. More it's or less. So cute. We'll All the proceeds. One hundred percent of the proceeds go to make a wish foundation. So please. Oh yes. You know you want it. Okay, that that's cool. Oh yeah, no, that's that's yes, definitely. Did. Did anybody else? That kind of made me think of almost like the uh, the Wildstar trailers a little bit. No. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, I can, I can see it. that. All right. Oh, well, hey, sell it for me. Anyway, you know, maybe you should buy a few of those and just give them away. <laughs> <laughs> that needs cast or something. I don't know. Who knows? Hey, it's for a good cause. There you That's go. What I'm saying. There you go. We don't need to go buy a few of those now. Yes. If you're uh, so, if you're a wild player, go buy some, buy some bright paws to support uh, to support. Um, make a wish. Make a, make wish, a foundation. wish foundation. Thank yeah. You. If you're not a wild player, go buy some. Do it anyways. Some, yeah, do it anyways and buy some. Uh, give them away to wild players. And just give them to me, and we'll just give them out to people. There you go. Hey, Joseph. Or Kata. So maybe. Hey, why don't maybe you an go officer. buy some? Why don't you go buy them? And then we'll give them my next newscast. You have to come back and news newscast. I like that idea. I like the way you think. I'm gonna do that. Cause, cool. and by me, I mean Kata, because Kata's volunteering to buy five of them right now. There you go. Thanks, Kata. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for news. Uh, we have successfully kept an hour of your time that you will never get back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you, Deuce. Thank, thank you, Trosian, for coming on. And everybody out Always there. Always a pleasure. Thanks for watching. We only <laughs> have 22 uh, ish, 23 ish, 25 days left in the year. Uh, we've got one more episode coming up. Please, if there are any funny moments from the year, uh, from the Grievance News, or heck, any funny movement moments that have been streamed, send me the links uh, in the forums. Uh, I, Wendell, in the forums, and I want to put something together. So, let me know. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.